What up, yo? Son of Terra 92 here, and you're tuned in to another Science Epic podcast where I take 10 minutes of your time to deal you in with some of my experiences, opinions, and hard earned life lessons. This is episode number two of our series Wisdom from a Wandering Scientist. And today I've got some GoPro footage for you guys that I'll be talking over. It's some footage of the other day as I link up with my friend Reginald Wong and we go on an adventure to track down the infamous Russian prankster Vitaly Zdorovetsky from Vitaly ZDTV. He's like one of the biggest YouTube people live right now. He's very popular and I think he's a lifestyle inspiration because he's like what, a Russian minority in the US? and. He wasn't college educated, but he still had the balls and the guts and the idea to go out there and pursue the life that he wanted. And right now he's doing very well, touring the world, visiting Dubai. The other day he was in town in Kuala Lumpur for a meet and greet with his Malaysian fans. Probably the last meet and greet he'll ever do in Malaysia because we nearly killed him, as you will see in the following video. I was unable to get a picture with the guy because, as you will see in the video, there were just way too many people and everyone was being completely Malaysian about the whole thing. Whatever, just watch. I'm gonna talk about something today and that is, let me get out my list here, um, my secret underground meth lab, nope, 50 shades of grey fanfiction, nope, G-Dragon fanfiction, who the fuck is G-Dragon? Oh, here it is. Found it. Today, I'm going to be talking about what is the most important thing that you have to be equipped with upon coming out of college. And I'm doing this because I will be graduating soon after four to five long years of slugging it out to get my undergraduate engineering degree. I will be finally finishing this June 2015, yeah! with an engineering degree in microwave communications. So yeah, that's totally a thing. At this stage in the game, the game of life, I want to talk about what really is the most important thing that you have to be equipped with, what you got to be ready with to take on the real world and things that I've discovered up until this point. So brace yourselves, it's going to be awesome. I think that after going through four to five arduously long years trying to get my undergraduate degree from Multimedia University, the most important thing that you gotta be equipped with upon receiving that certificate is an eagerness or a hunger or, or just preparedness to take on the real world. You can't just coast or you can't stop for even a moment to think that you deserve rest because it's such a pivotal time. It's a time where you had just buried the last four years behind you and you've got your whole entire life ahead of you. That's the moment where you should be on the offensive. You can't turn yourself inwards at that point regardless of whether you did a science and technology major like moi or you are an arts and humanities majors like some of my friends. At the point of graduation, you can't be thinking that, oh, I'm graduated, I'm just gonna take it easy for the rest of my life because the last few years... There's a saying in Bahasa, the, the Malaysian language, the, the Malaysian national language that says, tidak puas hati, which translates into not satisfied heart, not satisfied of heart, yeah, direct translation. I think coming out of university, it's important to have a feeling of tidak puas hati, to have a feeling of not satisfaction in, in your current standing because I know that I'm not satisfied and it's important to just go out there with a feeling that you gotta get more because you don't got enough. You don't have enough at this point because you just came out of college and I haven't done anything with my life and life has only just begun. So you gotta have that eagerness, you gotta have that drive for new adventures and new explorations and wanderings. Coming out of college, you really have to program yourself with the mindset that things have only just begun. You've only just started to live 
And this seems kind of weird because didn't I start to live 23 years ago when I drew my first breath? Once you finally are able to break through to the real world as I will be doing within the next four to five months, you gotta be eager and hunger for new adventures, just new things. Get on that. Boom, skydiving, boom, feeding, lifting, uh, lifting kids out of poverty. How'd I get these guns? Lifting kids out of poverty. Yeah, baby, pick up line. Yeah, that, that's, that's really, really important. You can't for a moment, you can't be thinking that it's time to take things easy simply because you got a certificate. You just got, a, got out of college. You didn't solve world poverty. You didn't do shit yet. Now is the time for you to do stuff. It's got to be like explosions. You got to consistently pursue awesomeness and greatness and the pivotal time to be pursuing awesomeness and greatness especially especially when you're young and you're out of college you got your freedom you got your mind it's time to paint the world paint the cosmos and the universe in the color of your own mind in my opinion it doesn't really matter what you did in university coming out you got to have the right mindset it doesn't matter how many first class degrees you got it doesn't matter how much sex you had it doesn't matter how many times you got drunk and passed out on the floor it is a pivotal part of your life once you go out there and you finally earn your freedom you look at the world and say i'm gonna take the world on i'm just gonna it's just the barrier and then break through another barrier and there's another barrier up of that and you just, going up regardless of whatever you learned and whatever majoring you did in college and at the point of graduation which is soon in my case and if you are to graduate uh, to those of you who just started you can listen to this and think of it as like a word of forewarning I mean, I'm not telling you to, to, to coast it now and work hard later I'm just telling you to be prepared maintain your momentum throughout the entire journey you just can't burn yourself out because Personally, I've dealt with a lot of shit in the past four years. I've dealt with things that I didn't want to do to the point where I am. There's a, there's a phrase in Bahasa, Marana di atas lantai, which means just suffering on the floor. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm telling you guys, there's just way better people more suited to deal with the stresses of doing this engineering bullshit. And, and most of them are Chinese. Yeah, I'll, I'll talk about that later. But man, Chinese people are really good at this stuff. At re really good at, at just forcing themselves to, to learn things that they don't want to learn in, in the excuse to bring honor to the family you know they think that as soon as you get a good engineering job a good lofty position somewhere as soon as they get a good position somewhere that will no doubt bring them prosperity and good life i i, I cannot live like that so fundamentally regardless of whether i could actually deal with or not deal with engineering stuff or not the most important thing is that for a person like me or for every other person out there coming out of college you can't stop for a moment to think that all your success and achievements thus far coming out of college is finite you know, that's a good way of just falling and then watching as the entire world passes you by later you can't stop to think that you've achieved much because you're young it's, it's a tenuous time in your life you've got your whole life ahead of you and, and you just gotta keep dreaming keep working hard keep fighting hard those first few years are important because i know that as a 23 year old i'm definitely not where i want to be right now as a 23 year old i just finished four or five years of, of doing absolute nothing just going to class and, and whatever and I, I don't think that it has equated much to preparing for the real world so you gotta mentally set in your mind that you yourself have to prepare for the real world don't stop breaking through barriers just because you put the last three to four years of undergraduate life behind you just keep going this is partly why I don't be going to my college graduation. I know, I know, it, it sounds like I'm a butthurt little nerd who didn't have enough fun in the past three to four years undergraduate life. I didn't get enough sex. So I'm, I'm, I'm Rajo in the corner. Rajo is a Bahasa word for like being sad and shit. But hear me out here. I don't want to go to my college graduation because I don't feel like I deserve to party. 
I don't feel like I deserve to celebrate anything, to be honest, because what do I have to my name up until this point that I truly feel pride in? Nothing, not much. My YouTube channel, that, that, that's about it. About like six packs on the way, I guess. My physical fitness, I'm, I'm not on any hard drugs or anything. You know, that's, that's cool, but that's a basic. That's like starter kit shit. So I won't be attending my college graduation. I just want to get my certificate and go. As Russell Peters would say, it's shit and go, shit and go. That's that's pretty much what my university. That's that's university actually. Just shit and go, shit and go. It's all the same. I know a variety of different kids from throughout my college career, and I'd say I, I measure out at pretty much average, average. Besides the YouTube channel thing, not too many people have a YouTube channel, but. I've known the sporty kids, I've known the kids that join societies, I've known the hipster kids, and I've known the throwaway kids who just you know, cut class and shit, and I would say I've done a tour of service in a little bit of everything, especially these last few years. Whatever. I was young and I needed the money. Oh wait, I spent a lot of money. So yeah, I've, I've seen my share of that stuff, and they're all gonna graduate, they're all gonna be thrown out there into the real world, and regardless of whether they have an engineering degree or a degree in management, you know, my university offers pretty much like, what, four, four main choices of shitting and going, shitting and going. It's up to you to carry on what you want to do afterwards, and you can't for a moment think that it's time to just coast it and just settle down and think that the chaos has ended the chaos has only just begun it's time to take control of that chaos by the reins and ride that train to infinity and beyond and only time will tell which people manage to ride that train to, to nirvana or ride that train to plain old limbo and not really get much out of the experience of life so college is just nothing but training wheels training wheels for riding a bicycle but it's up to you to decide where you're gonna ride that bicycle to that's pretty much it that wow that really just wraps up the last 10 minutes i could have just said that in a tweet and would have been settled the whole thing but whatever yeah i would like to conclude by saying that in today's ever changing era of super intelligent smarty pants and hustlers going to college isn't really a necessity but if you're gonna go the most important advice is you gotta wrap it before you tap it no that's not it just kidding what i mean is that college is just a stepping stone it can be a small one or it can be a big one but don't think for a, a second that the road to awesome ends there oh no not by a long shot that's all for me thanks for listening to my wise and masterful shifu wisdom i'll be talking a lot more about a variety of different topics in my coming podcasts stay tuned for more science epic son of terra 92 signing off Boop.